Humans have always had to work to survive. This was true in prehistoric times as hunter-gatherers, and it continued for centuries with more household-based methods of production. Now, the Industrial Revolution doesn't change the basic fact that humans have had to work to survive and continue to have to work to survive, but it does change the nature of this. And rather than producing things that you're going to consume directly, like growing your own food, it means people are working for others. In other words, you're working for a paycheck, working for money. We can see this reflected in many aspects of our culture. For example, think about the 1980s popular song by Huey Lewis in the News, Working for a Living. Or another example, Slave to the Wage, a song by Placebo. Now, even this basic way of thinking about work as simply for money raises important implications for managers. I'm going to highlight two implications here. First, the fact that a family or a household survival depends on working means that financial pressures can be magnified in the workplace. So when employees feel that their job is at risk or feel that their income is at risk and not able to make ends meet at, in the workplace, this can bring additional stresses, additional pressures, even sometimes additional desperation into the workplace. Now a second implication. Because work is seen as an economic necessity sur to survive, at least for most people, this can make work seem like a curse make it seem like a natural part of the human condition, the way it's always been and the way it has to be. At a general level, this is probably true. Again, we need to work to survive. But this doesn't mean that specific jobs have to be structured in specific ways. Rather, organizations and you as a manager have choices as to how jobs are designed, how work is structured. If there are lousy jobs in your work group, ask how they can be improved. So yes, people work for money. They have to in order to buy shelter, food, clothing, and other necessities. But even this most basic aspect of work, the simplest way of thinking about why people work, raises important implications for managers. First, watch for extra stress, maybe even in some rare cases, desperation among your employees as their household financial pressures are potentially brought into the workplace. Why are they brought into the workplace? Because that's their source of income. Second, don't reduce work to a, to a curse. Don't think, well, this is, the, this is the way it has to be, and we have no way of improving jobs, making them better. And lastly, don't assume that work is only about money. Yes, money is the focus of this module, module two. However, in module three, we're going to explore a variety of reasons beyond money why people work.